bought some wood and some plastic material online to test them out on my laser cutter and first I have to figure out the right settings for them so let's go into uh, laser cat and I'm going to make five boxes and each boxes will have different settings so I know what's the best for the wood material Now let's uh, select draw rectangle and then change it to 20mm, 20mm and then let's go to tool and the ray clone let's make five of them and the offset two so now we have five of them select the first one and let's go to layer option let's choose cut maximum power let's try uh, 8% and minimum power 70% speed start from let's say 100 and click OK and let's select the second box and change the color to blue so that uh, I know which one is uh, uh, which one so that I know the setting let's ch choose choose cut and also 80% 70 basically now we're just changing the speed from my last experience I think the uh, speed does a lot of effect on the end result so let's change it to 80 and the next one maximum power and minimum power, minimum power we just changing the speed subtracted by 20 and then the next one
Guangzhou, the speed is uh, 20%. A little bit probably uh, I will mess one with the setting later I should change the minimum power low it a little bit because right now uh, outside looks a little bit blackish and now let's try engraving let's use the uh, same boxes let's just change the uh, layer options to engrave so let's go back to our laser cap program and change it to engrave. Power 40, pressure 50. Let's change uh, the speed 300, okay? And the second one is the blue one. And also change it to engrave. Now let's change the power to uh, 35%, but uh, the speed remains the same. So that uh, we know uh, if it's uh, powerful enough. right now that's why I close the machine to uh, let the fan blow it out a little bit so it turns out great the engraving uh, looks uh, great it's better than the uh, cutting so I'm going to write down the settings and I'm going to try uh, these settings on other materials too so next step, I'm going to try out the POM material. I got this online. Uh, people say uh, POM it is stronger uh, than acrylic, so it's go going to need more power, I think. But I'm going to use the setting I used before first. But this time, I'm going to uh, keep the machine closed because uh, more power, it means more film. And uh, some people might want to use PVC you can use PVC on the laser, in a laser cutter because when in the process it um, release a toxic film it's gonna be dangerous so don't do that right now we are just going to try out the POM and see if it works
way through the POM, but the film that it releases, it makes me feel kind of disgusting. Even the film smells bad. I got my timer here, so I'm going to set it to five minutes before I open the uh, laser cutter. I think, what the heck, I'm going to see if it can cut through. I'm going to change the speed in laser cut.
the smell. I think I did it. I think uh, it successfully engraved on the first layer. And what the hell? It comes off the looks like like paint. The white paint comes off on my finger. Okay, now I know these two materials works fine. I just need to think of a project that I can use the laser cutter for. And please subscribe. The more followers I have, the easier I can get more review units. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it. See you next time.